Everybody's looking for the next hot blockchain that's going to blow up. But this bull market's been kind of weird. Bitcoin's taken off, sure, but where are the real fireworks? The altcoin season, you know, it hasn't really showed up yet. Meme coins came and went. Some people made crazy gains, but now something new might be brewing. Something has just happened in crypto that most people have missed. It didn't make prices spike. It didn't break Twitter. But it could be one of those moments we quietly look back on and say... That's when the momentum shifted. So hey everybody, I'm Gregory, and on this channel I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you wanna see how to become a blockchain developer before things get crazy again, I can show you how to do that step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappityversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Now, obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is not be financial advice, but what is the next hot blockchain that could blow up? Well, it's base. So why is that? Well, last week, Coinbase announced they're launching their own decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, and they're building it on top of the base layer two blockchain. And so this is not a drill. After this announcement was made, the Coinbase stock has gone absolutely bananas. And it's not hard to see why. And one thing that I want to drive home on this is that people will be able to trade on a decentralized exchange directly from the Coinbase app itself. So basically, if you already have a Coinbase account, you could just start trading assets on chain and it's going to be the ones that are on the base blockchain. Now, if that doesn't automatically blow your mind as is, let's connect the dots and see why this is such a big deal. So number one, this is not another product release. This is Coinbase doubling down on a fully on-chain future. They're not just offering access to DeFi, they're building it. They're building it into the core of their ecosystem. And so that comes with, you know, several different implications that I'll list out one by one. Number one is that DeFi gets a massive stamp of legitimacy. Basically, we've been doing this for years where we've been creating decentralized finance finance or DeFi, where you're basically, you know, taking existing financial products and moving them over to the blockchain and trying to bring more users on chain. And, you know, that's had its own mixed results. You know, some people adopted quickly, some people have been slower, more skeptical, especially bigger players who want to wait and see how things pan out, see if this is really serious or not. But now we have a decentralized exchange coming from a publicly traded company, okay, that gives it more trust from, you know, normies and also more institutions. And it also really helps break down the narrative that DeFi in and of itself is shady. You know, that crypto is just this thing that's used for criminal activity, money laundering, and people like that. All right, so going back to what I was saying about the beginning of this video, like looking for a blockchain that could absolutely blow up, well, Base could be it. All right, so let me clarify something. Base is an Ethereum layer two, okay? So basically that means that, you know, it runs on top of Ethereum and you pay the gas fees in Ether. And we have lots of other examples of blockchain networks like this, like Arbitrum, Optimism, et cetera, et cetera. And lots of people have been wondering, like, we can't have all these different layer twos, which one's actually going to win in the long run. And this could be base taking the lead because now base is going to be supercharged. It becomes on Coinbase's home field. We'll probably see a massive increase in developers, activity, users, liquidity, and potentially see Uniswap style growth. Another part is moving the ball forward with one of the biggest hurdles for crypto. So see, we have all this game changing technology that we could just flip the switch on and make so many things happen. But a lot of people aren't doing it because of lack of regulatory clarity. Basically, are you going to go to jail or be massively fined for doing something that's not really clear in the law on whether you can or can't do it? Okay. So, you know, we've been asking for a long time, like, can a DEX be run and operated by a company that exists inside the US? All right. And now we're seeing a publicly traded company who has a lot to lose, who's not going to just, you know, YOLO launch a DEX actually do this. So it's going to be the first major test case. And it's probably going to set the tone for how crypto is done inside the United States, like compliance with the user interface, change sanction filters, you know, ID gating with know your customer and all that type of stuff. All right. So another aspect of this is that this is the first time that we're seeing a real legitimate Uniswap competitor come onto the scene. OK, so Uniswap, you know, is the most prominent decks, especially in the Ethereum ecosystem, all right, on the Ethereum main chain, the other layer twos, like I was just talking about, and then also on Uniswap's own chain, Unichain, okay? But, you know, we could actually see something like Base overtake this and actually, in the very least, provide some pretty stiff competition because think about it, Coinbase has this massive amount of users that can basically funnel straight into their product. They can bootstrap liquidity instantly and they can also onboard more normal people than Uniswap. All right, so the last thing is this is undeniably bullish for the entire crypto markets, okay? So like at the beginning of this video I was talking about, you know, people have been wondering like, 
when is the altcoin season going to start? Bitcoin's, you know, done its thing, but the altcoins have really kind of lagged behind. All right. So, you know, this is definitely a catalyst. It's not it's like the tipping point for the bull market, but it's a drop in the bucket in a good way. It's another brick in the wall that can kind of start tilting things in the better direction. And now I don't think this is going to make every altcoin explode. But again, not financial advice. I do think that there is some really strong catalyst potential for a very specific set of altcoins. So what are those? Basically, it's going to be the altcoins that are already listed on the base chain really before this happens and before the entire world gets word of it. All right. And so why is it such a big deal? Well, BitGet News reported that Jesse Polak, Coinbase's head of base, confirmed that all base built assets, everything that's on base right now, and from what I'm understanding, everything that will be on base in the future is automatically going to get listed on the DEX. So that means every project gets exposure. So if you hold a base token at all, any base token before this goes live and people get word of it, then that's going to be, you know, standing in the Amazon store that they're able to buy whenever they start using this app. And it's confirmed that this is going to be in their main app where millions of assets will be accessible. And we've already seen things like Aerodrome rally as a result of this. And so if Coinbase could pull this off, then we could see a surge in base adoption, a surge in Bitcoin adoption, more pressure on regulators, shift in business models, a new meta for L2 development and exchange design. And also not to mention the fact that this is built on top of the Ethereum ecosystem. And, you know, Ethereum has definitely got its fair share of hate over the past couple of years during this bull cycle. But this is going to be inextricably linked to the Ethereum platform because you can't really buy gas on Coinbase without paying for ETH. And so you need to do that. And that also is bullish for the entire Ethereum space, in my view. So the bottom line is this could be a major inflection point for all of crypto and a major inflection point point for how crypto even works in the first place. Whether it works or not, this move tells you where the puck is going. And if you want to skate where the puck is going, then you need to do a couple things. Make sure you smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to learn how to build the technology that actually empowers this shift so that you can do that, then how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You let it to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.